Hello guys and welcome to episode 30 of the Disney Pixar Diecast Collection and Unboxing Series. Um, I'm not 100% sure how much this haul costs, but it's obviously going to be on your screen right now. So yeah, let's get straight into this one. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, I bought these cars a long time ago, so <laughs> let's see how we get on. So number one is the Apple car. Uh, obviously this is a special with the uh, obviously Apple logo on the front there. Really cool car, uh, nice to have, and also it's got raised eyelids, which is quite nice um, and fairly rare to have. So yeah, nice one to tick off the list. Next up, we have Cho, and um, this is obviously from the Cars Toons universe, when they, probably the drifting one, I presume. I uh, don't remember being in there, but yeah, another cool car to tick off. Next up, we have Dragon McQueen with oil stains from the Cars Toons universe. Same episode as that one, um, but yeah, pretty cool to tick off the list. Um, it's actually quite a lot lighter, this one, so I was wondering around whether it was real, but it's got an EAA number, so yeah, take it off anyway. We have Thing That Miss Out as a unibody, so much nicer condition as my previous one, so I'll be swapping them out probably, so keep an eye on my eBay, see if there's anything on there, linked below. Uh, but yeah, another one to tick off the list. Much bigger, these ones. It's quite weird how they've done it, but yeah, nice tick off uh, Aston Martin there anyway. We then have the Easy Idol 15 Next Gen car. His name is Harvey Rodcap. So yeah, another uh, one to tick off the list from Cars 3. Quite a cool design. Um, though obviously, they got a bit basic once they got to Cars 3. Nowhere near as good as uh, Cars 1, but yeah, another one to tick off the list anyway. Next up, we have the Clutch Aid 1 to 1. Uh, he is a Kevin Racing Tire from Cars 1. Pretty cool indeed, and he's also got raised eyebrows, so that's even better eyelids, should I say. So yeah, pretty cool. Nice one to tick off the list. We then go on to the 63 uh, Transbury Juice here. Um, it's Lee Revkin. Unfortunately, not raised eyebrows, but yeah. Other than that, I'll raise eyelids. Pretty cool indeed to tick off this one anyway. Another Cars 1 car, so always a winner winner chicken dinner. Next up, we have the Chinese special car, Long G from Cars 2. Obviously, there's a few of these uh, different ones. A very cheap looking, but they all are these um, Cars 2 uh, World Grand Prix races. Uh, but yeah, EA number on the bottom, so yeah, pretty cool. Another one to tick off the list. And we have another one, we have the Mexican one, it's Memo Rojas Jr. So yeah, another one to tick off the list, pretty cool looking car, um, similar design, um, unfortunately missing a wing mirror, but yeah, pretty cool to tick off the list. Next up we have the uh, fault lift here, the sushi cutting guy, uh, name on the right hand side there. Uh, unfortunately missing a uh, one of his forks, so I might be able to find one of them, uh, but yeah, pretty cool to tick off anyway, um, happy days. Next up is Punchy Wipeout, obviously the Bumper Save 90 car, quite light again here, but yeah, pretty cool. He's actually a raised eyelid one, so yeah, another one to tick off the list nicely here. Yeah, number on the bottom, uh, quite a cool design, but yeah, I'm happy to tick that off. Next up is one of the coolest names in the whole universe, is Rasta Karian, obviously play on words there uh, but yeah another monster truck to tick off the list we've got a few of these now so we can tick them off slowly as we go on uh, but yeah another one to tick off the list happy days on that front we then have shifty sidewinder from the cars tunes universe nice to tick off the list um happy days happy days uh, so let's get on to the last car of the episode last but not least we have the swedish uh, cars 2 world grand prix uh, racer, I can't find his name, but he'll probably be on the side here. So yeah, nice to take him off the list. Um, so that's that for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next uh, couple episodes I have planned. Other than that, I'm going to have to start buying more of these, but they're costing that much money that I'm struggling. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.